Hello, in one of my older video, we cover how to calculate the difference between two timestamps. So one of my viewer asked if I can show how to display average duration in a scorecard. Therefore, today we are going to learn how to show average metrics in a scorecard. There are two methods that we can achieve the same outcome. The first method is quite simple. We will change the default aggregation method. Second, we could use calculated metrics to derive the average duration. For the first method, we can drag and drop the duration field into the canvas, then the scorecard will be created automatically. However, this scorecard is currently showing the total instead of the average duration. So now we will change the aggregation method for this scorecard. In the property panel under metrics, when you click on the edit icon, you should see that the metrics are aggregated to sum by default. Click on the average option to change the aggregation method from sum to average. Now the average matrix is shown in the scorecard. Rename the metric to make sure people know that this is the average duration. Having said that, imagine if you need to create a similar matrix in every page. This is very inefficient as you need to keep editing the aggregated method to average so what I would do usually is to go to the edit data source, then edit the field, change the aggregation method to average. So now when I create a scorecard for the field, it will be aggregated to average automatically without any additional editing. Alternatively, you can create a calculated matrix just for average duration. Now let me show you how to do that. In the property panel, create a new calculated field. Then enter the formula average and add the field name in the parenthesis. Here, instead of the field name, I'm adding the formula to calculate the duration instead. Lastly, drag and drop the calculated matrix to canvas and you got your average duration shown in the scorecard now. This approach is more preferred mainly because of two reasons. First of all, if the same metric is used across different charts, if there are any changes to be made on the calculation due to changes in business requirements, for example, business may decide that for a certain type of order, we don't want to include the duration in the average calculation. So we can just fix it from the formula here instead of going to each chart to add the filters. Second, it can also save us some time by making the metric name shown in the scorecard consistent across every page. That's all for the learning today. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe and watch the next video. Bye!